Hi, I'm Dr. Pichani. Today I want to talk about a new book that just came out called In the Closet of the Vatican by Frederick Martel. He's a French journalist, he's openly gay, and he's Catholic. It's a serious analysis after interviewing thousands of priests, clergymen, and other individuals as to how extensive is homosexuality and predatory sex in the Vatican. What he found was that close to 60 to 80 percent of the senior officials in the Vatican were serious homosexual offenders. In and of itself, I have no problem with homosexuality. I have no problem with the Catholic Church. What I have a problem with is the predatory nature in which the senior officials of the Vatican use younger men and they use heterosexual Muslim men to have sexual intercourse and then they often beat them up. Later on, what happens, and he found this in his study, is that many of the senior officials are appearing to be homophobic. Now, that sounds contradictory, that at the one time they're homosexual and raving homosexuals, but at the same time they act homophobic. What they're doing, in effect, is to make sure that no one can take them out of the senior position. So they come and act as anti-gay, and they have positions which sound anti-gay, and in fact they're very gay and very predatory, meaning that they do seduce young men, they seduce young boys, and it turns out that there's a whole uh, crime now of priests seducing nuns. Now, the person who is in charge and has, has been indicted before and implicated by me for terrorist activities, but by the book and by Cardinal uh, Vigino of U.S., the Archbishop Vigano, who said that Pope Francis was part of this gay mafia and knew about it all the time, and he supported Theodore McCarrick, who was the Cardinal of Washington, D.C., and for six to ten years had been involved in sexual miscreant behaviors, but Francis did nothing about it. When Vigano wrote about it, and when he resigned, he wrote this letter that named all the archbishops, all the priests, all the cardinals, including Theodore McCarrick. And what did Pope Francis do? He brought Theodore McCarrick right up to the Vatican and made him his assistant. So Francis knew all along about these abuses and miscreant behavior. Now, why do I speak about Francis in such a hostile tone? Because, as some of you know before, in the business of counterterrorism, I encountered the Pope Francis when he was director of the Jesuits as a co-conspirator with the Argentinian junta in the torture and death of four of my American nuns and two of my American priests who were Jesuits. And in turn, Pope Francis at that time was a Jesuit priest, which means that he knew all along what was happening. He allowed it to happen, but he was never indicted for co-conspiratorial criminal activity. I now say that the Pope should not be there. He wants to hold a Vatican Council to deal with the problem of sexual miscreant behavior. I say he is not the proper person. He should be defrocked as Theodore McCarrick was defrocked. And in turn, the church has to literally allow itself to be taken out and looked at from the celibate point of view, as well as from the fact that the church preys on celibacy by allowing the men to have food, pensions, a retirement, and a house, and fosters that celibacy to such an extent that they know no other sexual outlet other than perversion and homosexuality. I do not say that homosexuality is a perversion. I'm just saying that simply the priest has to become celibate. As a result of that, he has no other outlet than to seduce another male, which he knows about. And the, and the church knew all about it. That's not the secrecy. The secrecy was the fact that they didn't want the public to know. So the key to this issue is that there has to be a whole investigation of the church itself, not by the Pope. He's the fox in the hen house, by, by others outside of the church who must clean it out completely. Let me quote Stalin, who said very clearly, you think the Pope is strong? Then tell me how many divisions does he have? And let me quote George Carlin, the Catholic comedian, who said, I have the same legitimacy as a Pope. 
except I don't have as many followers. This is Dr. Pachenik. Good luck. Good night.